What's up everybody? It's your boy Walking Mondu and you are watching Wrench Trench Garage. Well today we're not gonna be doing much of any car stuff today but what I'm gonna be doing is working on this guy right here. Yeah guys so this is my Husky air compressor and basically it hasn't been building any pressure for a little while now. Um, basically what it has been doing is just kind of just making a bunch of noise probably getting it to about 70 psi and then kind of falling on its face so as you can see underneath i kind of unclogged it i looked around i sprayed all the joints to see if they've had any air leaks and there was none i even um, cut the valve from the rest of the stuff here to just isolate it just to the tank and i sprayed around for any leaks and there was no leaks everything seemed to be tight so I think that the motor is actually starting to go bad the little rings in there will keep it from will start going bad and keep it from making compression so you can either rebuild these things right here or you can get another one I ended up going to a company and just purchasing another motor it was a lot easier, it's a lot cheaper than I expected. It was just under 300 bucks. And that is way, 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 way cheaper than buying a whole nother unit, which is right around 1200 bucks, I believe. Uh, maybe 800, between 800 and 1200 for a new unit. So this one was the only real you know, solution I had to save money, well, to save time over the money. But you know, 300 bucks ain't bad. Uh, all the stuff is here, everything I need. It's basically just your basic swap out. So uh, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and grab this thing. I have to unbolt it from down there. Take the little bolts out. And we'll take this out of the box. And we're going to go ahead and start installing this thing. Alright guys, so we got this thing out of the box. So we can get a little bit better look at it. And basically, it's just the same thing as this one. So uh, let's go ahead and start removing this. So bad. All right. So what we got is we got four bolts that hold this thing in. Here, 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 here. And then we had to take the fan off. I ended up having to use a, a puller for it. Just a small job puller, nothing serious. And then the uh, trusty old wrench here uh, that allowed me to go ahead and undo this air hose here. And the whole thing just kind of came off. We got a belt. I probably should have gotten another belt. But actually, this belt. I look too bad. I think that belt's fine, but we're just gonna go with it because I really need this thing up and running. So let's go ahead and start putting this other one on. Wipe this down first. Like that. Yep. Okay. So I ran into my first little issue here. So you, if you slide the nut up here, as you see, it does not connect to the threads right here. Those threads aren't working. There's a compression fitting there. What I'm gonna do is I'll go ahead and cut that off because I think there's still some room that I can use. Now, now it, they were nice enough to provide another nut, which is great. I'm glad they did that. And it's weird because this hose doesn't leak, but it is loose. So that's probably something I'm going to have to mess with. So yeah, I've already gotten this far, so eh, let's go ahead and keep going. So uh, uh, I actually found out this is, a, a, it's, it's called a compression nut. So I guess as it goes on, it's tightened up. So this thing is tightened on, I pulled on it, and this thing is really, really tight. And you know what, it was a little bit loose back there. Even though it wasn't leaking, it was still loose. So I tightened that up and it became just that much better. So yeah, went ahead and tighten all that up. Now what I'm going to do, so these are just some little 10 millimeter nuts right here. And basically what they do is they hold on 
this little cave assembly. So I'm just gonna throw that on. Okay guys, so one thing that I got hung up on that I wanted to show you is getting the belt on correctly. So this is your belt and I have it on. But basically what you have to do, you have to remove these bolts here and then loosen these here. So that way you can put the belt on the large pulley here and as it goes down to that pulley, you can push up on this motor. You see that? And as you do, the belt loosens so you can put it on. So you put it on the big pulley first, you lift your motor, and then you can slide it on this side, and then you will get your belt tension. Then you just kind of draw it on to whatever foot pounds is necessary. I gotta find out what that is. And then you can put your bolts in here. All right, guys, so this thing is finally on. It's finally together. And uh, the hardest part was kind of lining these bolts up after putting this belt on the correct way. So after all of that was done, the belt's on, I had to actually sit here and line these up little by little, pull and tug and do some weird stuff to get this thing to line up. But after you put the bolts in, you gotta tighten them to 130 to 180 inch pounds. And after you do that, you gotta make sure that your belt is on pretty darn straight up to a uh, 1 16th as close uh, you know no more than 1 16th off from each other and uh, I believe I got that and uh, so basically you just tighten this little half inch bolt right here until you get it right with the deflection and everything here so it seems like we're okay I do have everything tightened here but I'm not gonna put the back part of it on just yet I know not to put my fingers in there, I'm not a kid. So tomorrow, I gotta go to the store and grab some oil and put fresh oil in here. And uh, we'll go ahead and run it tomorrow. Hey, what's up guys? It is the following day and I'm just getting started a little bit late today. Had to run a bunch of errands, a bunch of things need to get done. But we are gonna go ahead and finish up what we started yesterday, which is this right here. I ended up making sure everything was put in. I made sure, now this has a bit of a wobble to it. See, right down there. So we're gonna tighten this thing up just a little bit more just to make sure it's not all wobbly anymore. So yeah, so I went ahead and got some regular old air compressor oil uh, just for the break-in. And if I wanna go for synthetic, I'll probably go a little bit later on after it's all broken in. But we're gonna use this stuff. We're gonna throw some in there and I'm gonna tighten up that little hose. And we're gonna run it for about 30 minutes with no load on it, which means not building any pressure and just letting it run for a little while so it can break in. So that's where we're gonna go now. All right guys, so it took just uh, about two and a half bottles or so. That's like two, just a little more than two bottles to fill that thing up right there. So basically you just fill it to the top of that little red dot. I ran it for a few seconds and it pulled it down a little bit and then I went ahead and topped it back off again. But uh, yeah, it's actually even a lot quieter now. So yeah, let's go ahead and let it run for a second. Hey, what's up guys? It is the following day and I have yesterday, I ended up running the compressor for a good 30 minutes without any load. Uh, broke in the motor, made sure the oil level and everything was correct and came out today, ended up having to cut the grass. Um, I ended up doing the brakes and the oil change for the Scion last night as well. I didn't record it, there was no need. Yeah, check out my Instagram. It's all on there. <laughs> It'll be on my Instagram. But uh, also, what else I ended up doing was uh, after doing all that today and getting myself squared away for this morning, I decided to go ahead and test this thing out. So uh, I went ahead and I put it under load. I locked everything down and... So yeah, as you can see, that's a, that's a 150 PSI right there. So uh, yeah, the new motor cured all my issues. It's doing what it's supposed to do now. And uh, yeah, man, I'm pretty happy about it. I'm pretty stoked. But for right now, what I'm gonna do is start on the Durango. So this thing is gonna get it fixed today. But unfortunately, guys, you guys aren't gonna see that until the next video. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Don't forget about the Zazzle store. If you want some of this, some of the, some of my great wrench trench, uh, state of the art uh, uh, 
uh, fashion fashion uh, attire, you can go to Zazzle.com and grab some of that. But thanks again, guys. You guys keep wrenching. Wrench, wrench out. Oh, peace! Now I remember your smile